My name is Mara Campbell and I specialize primarily in portraiture, in oils and acrylics. I'm originally from Tampa, Florida. I did my graduate work here at NDSU and I've been living in North Dakota for the last nine years. I started painting in 2017. I have no formal training. I have been lucky enough to be mentored by Gretchen Kotke, who is a kind of a North Dakota treasure, who has had lots of pieces in museums locally, and she just turned 80 and she's still painting. She's a wonderful, wonderful mentor and friend. I find that a lot of my work is open to interpretation depending on the person that's viewing it. People tend to bring their own experiences to my portraiture, and it's fascinating to me to see what they interpret the look as meaning. It can really vary across a huge spectrum between people. I love people. I love their expressions. I love their moods. I love everything to do with faces. I find them fascinating. I love eyes and hair and mouth and I, it's, I find it really interesting. And so when I started painting, that was really my focus. I was looking everywhere for paintings of people and they didn't capture what I wanted them to capture, which were sort of the moods that you don't see, especially in a lot of traditional art. There's very static poses and things that you expect to see. Um, my art aims to have more of an emotional response to you know, things like a, a weird email that you get that you really <laughs> would rather not have seen that day, or maybe just a mood that you're in after um, a really great meal or maybe a really terrible one. I started painting because I felt a need to try to put what I was feeling on canvas, and it turned out to be a self-portrait, and I went from there. I've made a lot of changes over the years in mediums and in style, but I feel like I'm finally getting grounded in what I really want to express. My favorites are the email, which is the kind of long, tall painting with the gentleman with uh, the silver hair. Um, I painted that on a day when not only I, but two other of my friends had gotten work emails that were just not expected and a little unsettling, and so I really felt moved to um, express that in his expression, like, really? Like, here it is. Here's this email. Um, that's one of my favorites. Another one is In Knots, which is a self-portrait um, done in more of a Marc Chagall kind of style with a little bit more of a surrealist feeling to it. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in that painting that's personal to me, and so that's very much a favorite of mine. It was my first attempt at doing something that had a little bit more um, layers uh, that were personal as opposed to something that I was just trying to express, um, like in the email. Um, I guess my other favorite probably is Windswept, which is the woman with her hair blowing to the side. Um, people tend to have a lot of reaction to that painting, and I like it very much because, well, we all in North Dakota know what it feels like to, <laughs> to be windswept, and so that, that's another favorite. So after my residency here at Gallery 4 is done, I'm going to be putting more hours in on my first solo exhibit, which will be at the Spirit Room um, between August and October of this year. Um, the title of the show tentatively right now is called Perspectives, and the idea behind it is it will be a show of portraiture. I love sitting with a friend or even someone that I haven't met in front of a piece of art and hear what it means to them and why they're drawn to that particular piece. I, I take that feedback and I definitely internalize it and um, compare it to what other people have said and try to, you know, realize that whatever they're saying to me is usually coming from their, where they are emotionally, physically, in their life um, because it is so subjective looking at a portrait. Uh, for me, it's really what art is about, what, how you have a, a visceral reaction to what you see. It's the connection between your emotions and, you know, your eyes, your heart, your, you know, the moment you are in time. All of it is heightened emotions. All of it has to do with even a sense of calm is, is an emotion that you can get from a piece of art that maybe you wouldn't necessarily have on a day-to-day -day basis. I believe the connection is something that we're born with, that's been going on since time immemorial. People have been painting in caves what they saw and had some kind of an emotional connection to whatever it was that they were trying to depict. And so they're interconnected. That's why they're important in art.